Ken? Ken? Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, thank goodness for that. For a minute there, I thought we had an intruder. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you dressed? Yes. Well, it's only just gone seven. Yeah, well, uh, I'm just going to take Eccles for a walk. She was scratching. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear her. No, well, that's because you were asleep. Oh. Uh, shall I put your tea bag in? No, no. Uh, no, thanks. Hey, thanks for coming. Oh, I had to get a taxi. You know the worst thing about being banned from driving is? Air freshener. I feel like my sinuses are under attack. Ken walked in on me Nick in the bar last night. Were you, uh... Well, I don't think we left much room for doubt as to what was going on. I never wanted this to happen. Maybe you did. What? Well, I mean, subconsciously, maybe you wanted to get caught. Carla? Since when did you pick up a degree in psychology? Well, I was not the one sneaking around making whoopee with my ex-husband in a semi-public place with the door open. What's that? What if he tells Peter? Okay. Tough love, girlfriend. You can't have two men at the same time. I've tried it. It ended in tears. It always does. You have to choose, darling. I think I know where your heart lies. I wish I did. <sighs> it's Nick. Oh, well, there you go, then. I'm going to have to go. Listen, any time you need to talk. Yes, thanks. Yeah, and might I suggest that you... Take control of the situation before somebody else does. Yeah. We could do that tree tonight. Let Jack watch. He'll love all them shiny balls. <laughs> yeah, OK. What's your fancy for your tea? Don't know. Anything you like? Well, I can't really say I feel like cooking. I've got a pie in the freezer. Mmm. I love pie, me. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I want to get you something special, so don't tell me. Just give me a clue. I don't know. I've got everything I want. Yeah, me too. Never have too much of a good thing, though, eh? Who'd like a brother or sister, eh? <laughs> what a real one. I like the smell. For the first of December. Oh, what's wrong with wanting to enjoy Christmas? Well, the needles would have fell off by Christmas Eve. Keep dip it in chemicals so they don't drop off. Grumpy guts, get in the Christmas spirit. Hi, Deidre. Is Kenny? Uh, no, he's not actually. He's out walking out because there's anything I can do. No, no, he's fine. I just wanted to chat, nothing important. Actually, you're lucky you missed him. He was in a miserable mood first thing. <sighs> so, how are the wedding plans going? Yeah, fine. Hey, what do you think you're doing? We're just having a chat. <laughs> oh, no work. No, day off. Simon, get off to school, all right? Yeah, and they've given me permission to take him out this afternoon for our wedding suit fitting. He is going to look so gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Deirdre. But please be careful, I'm about to be a married man. I meant Simon. Mm, of course <laughs> you did. You see, this is what I have to put up with. I've got women throwing themselves at me. It's a good job I can't catch. <laughs> and by the way, you look great. Oh, cheers. Come here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just don't move as fast as I used to in the mornings. Mm. <laughs> hey, I was thinking, why don't we go out tonight? I fancy a meal at that Italian in precinct. Great. Because we might not get many more chances, you know, doing stuff on our own. Yeah. Mm. Except, um, not tonight. Why is it not open? Uh, Peter's asked me if I work late. What? Not again? He wants to take me through some bookkeeping stuff. Johnny's taking advantage, making you work all these hours. Yeah, I know, but this is wedding next week. When he's on honeymoon, I'll be in charge on my own. Mm, I hope he's paying you extra. Oh, yeah. He's paying. Leanne and Nick? Yeah. And are you sure they were... I think I know when two people are having an affair. Yeah, well, you should do. I suppose you've had enough experience. Well, thanks for that. What were you going to do? I wish I knew. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I needed time to think about it. Getting up at the crack of dawn, prowling around. Whatever happened to a trouble shared? Yeah, well, I didn't want to worry you. Well, you failed. I've been just as worried as you. Except I didn't know what I was worried about. What a Christmas tree. I live to make you happy. Oh. Oh, hi, sir. Hey, do you like the tree? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, they had some really big ones, nice shapes and that and all, but I just thought, 
That one's got character, really Christmassy. You bought the tree. Well, yeah, I was passing the garden centre. I asked him to pick a nice one, and I'll pay him when I got back. You want the tree? I got you the tree. Tyrone got me a tree. Thank you, Tyrone. Hey, how's Molly and the baby? Oh, they're great, thanks. Got any plans for Christmas? Uh, eat too much, drink too much, and then row on whose turn it is to change the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come to us for Christmas dinner? It'd save you having to cook, and it'd be lovely having a baby in the house. Oh, that sounds good, thanks. And you better check with Molly first. Yeah, but she'll love it. Cheers. Great. I'll go and help Fizz with the cakes. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> I like you working here. Oh, yeah, because you know where I am and you can keep an eye on me. No, because your orange juice is freshly squeezed. Why are you avoiding me? I'm not. We need to talk. We have talk to a blue in the face. I need some time to think and I can't think with you going on at me all the time. Oi. Got yeah, sure. I'm here if you want me. Okay. What's up? Something happened? Yeah, something's happened. The DJ's only gonna double booked himself and he's just said he can't go to our wedding. Oh, right. Yeah, well, we can't have a party without a DJ, can we? We're nearly into the Christmas season as well. So what are we gonna do? Hey, well, Lloyd does DJ. Maybe we should ask him. Well, is he any good? Yeah, I think so. Don't have a lot of choice, do we? No, you're right. Good, OK. Well, follow me. I'll see if I can open up negotiations. Oh, uh, hey, sorry to interrupt. Lloyd, Peter, yeah. how would you fancy uh, DJing at our wedding reception? Yeah, man, I'd be honoured. Great, you're hired. But uh, I don't want too much of this hip-hop, you know, that gangster rap. I want kind of no, classic, yeah, kind yeah, of... I'm your man. Great. Well, look, just play it. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I need a word with you as well. Uh, yeah? Would you mind if I steal your chef away just for half an hour? We've got some wedding suit fittings. Yeah, sure. I was going to wear me shiny grail. Oh, was you really? Well, it's my wedding. You're going to wear what I say you wear. <laughs> I want me and you and Si all in matching gear, right? Best three looking blokes in Manchester. And the best looking woman in the world. I'll drink to that. Oh, hello. What are you on a tea break for? You've only been here two minutes. We're um, washing down the dust, we swallowed. Health and safety. And your keeps us hydrated. Yeah, that's very important to keep <clears throat> hydrated. It's a mess. Yeah, well, it'll be sorted and tidied up by tea time. I have done this before, Steve. Hi, Dad. What? When? Well, who started it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Well, where are you now? Uh, I don't know. Well, yes. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, bye. How are you done? Yeah. Are you okay? No. No, he's in hospital. He's, uh, he's got in a fight and lost. Uh, you two will be all right in here on your own, won't you? What, you going to the hospital? Yeah. In your car? What? Steve, I was here at lunchtime. You had two pints to my knowledge and I wasn't even counting. I wouldn't run the risk, mate. Not in your line of work. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, I know you are, but your mother would have killed me if I didn't at least say something. Well, I can give you a lift if you want. Yeah, yeah, go on. No problem. I'll have the car around in two minutes. <laughs> hey, did you hear what the lady said when we put our suits on? She said she'd never seen three better-looking fellas. She fancied you. <laughs> I think she fancies you. I think she fancied me. Nah. <laughs> Will the bit of the kids at our wedding? It's not your wedding, it's mine and Leanne's wedding. What's a bigamist? A bigamist? Where'd you come across that word? Uh, you said his dad says you're a bigamist, but you're not big at all. We should be getting back. I'll leave this one with you. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. <laughs> See you, buddy. Is it like a cyclist? No. It's what they call somebody who gets married twice. Like Jordan? At the same time. How can you get married twice at the same time? To two different people. Did you get married twice at the same time? Yeah, it's a lot more complicated than that. And I never did it to hurt anybody, but... Yeah, I did. Oh, look, here's your granddad. <laughs> oh, are you having chips for your tea? Yeah, it's a treat. We've just been for our wedding suit fitting and did we look cool or what? Hey, Dad, we should get you one and all. Three generations of Barlow men, eh? It's gonna be the best day ever. What do you reckon? 
promise you won't be angry with me. Why would it be? So, you must be the elusive Colin Fishwick. We were beginning to wonder whether you really did exist. <laughs> nice to meet you, Colin. We've heard a lot about you. <laughs> yeah. Colin, this is Mum and Dad, Dorothy and Alan. This is Colin. Not here, but at my house. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna pop out for a bit. Do you want me to come with you? No. No, it's fine, you say you. You don't understand? No, I don't. Charlotte tells us how much you love teaching, Colin. Oh, yes. It's more a vocation than a job. I don't know what Colin would do if he couldn't teach. Oh, I feel the same about selling fridges. We take them for granted, but just think our life's been transformed by refrigeration. Oh, we'd have to buy food every day. No one would be eating ice cream in their own home. Dorothy wouldn't have any ice in her g and at six o'clock. <laughs> Alan, Colin doesn't want to know that his fiancée's mum's an alcoholic. She's not an alky. Just a bit tipsy most evenings. Dad, <laughs> what's he like? Charlotte. Yes, Colin. Shall we clear away the plates? Oh, no. No rush. Let's sit and chat. I've just had a brilliant idea. Does it involve another bottle of wine in a corkscrew? Colin and Charlotte should come to us for Christmas dinner. Oh! No. Uh, really, I couldn't. <laughs> Please. I'm a good cook. Where do you think she gets it from? Jamie Oliver, actually. Hmm. Oh, please, please say yes. Don't pester the lad. He's probably got arrangements with his own family. Uh, yet, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, son. You come in with me. Where are we going? Washing up. Your washer or a wiper? Uh, don't mind. Don't hold with dishwashers in our family. Work of the devil. Eh? Please don't insult my intelligence by telling me it's not what it looked like. You've not said anything to Peter, have you? Have you? I love him. You have a very funny way of showing it. I have supported him and stood by him through some very tough times. And does that excuse what you were doing last night? It was a mistake. Please don't tell him. Do I look angry? A bit. Because I'm absolutely seething. And not just because they caught you cheating on my son a week before your wedding, but because I'm now burdened with knowing the truth. And it's been eating away at my insides ever since I saw the two of you together. Ken, I'm not going to pretend what you saw last night was completely innocent. But please, you don't know the whole truth. Honey bee! Ah. Is, uh, is this what I think it is? Sit down. Leanne is just about to tell us the truth. Well, go ahead. We're listening. Why did you do it? Well, I didn't think it would be a problem. And it saves you having to cook. I like to cook. Did you think of that? You said you didn't fancy cooking. That's why we have Chinese. I said I didn't fancy cooking tonight. I didn't say I didn't fancy cooking our Christmas dinner. I'm not a mind reader. I was just trying to be thoughtful. We like Kevin so We could have a really good time. Yeah, I'm sure we could. But I wanted to spend Christmas in my house with my husband and my baby. Am I being unreasonable? No. Good. Then you can think of a brilliant excuse as to why we are not having our Christmas dinner with the Websters. I know we were only kids, but me and Nick were married. And if he hadn't come back, I'm sorry. No excuses. I was wrong. And stupid and weak and pathetic. But I love Peter. And one of the reasons I love him so much is because he's like me. He makes mistakes. And that's what Nick was. A big, big mistake. 
It's not just Peter, it's Simon. I know, Deirdre, and I love them both. And I want to marry Peter. Do you? Of course I do. We have been through so much together. And if he found out about this, you know what would happen to him. So please, I am begging you. Please give me a second chance. I will make Peter a really good wife. And I will be the best mum I can to Simon. I know this is going to sound awful, but I've lived with secrets in the past, and Peter does not need to know about this. So I'm not going to tell him, and I'm begging you to do the same. You're putting the future happiness of my son and my grandson in my hands. It's my future happiness too. Ken, just think where Peter would be right now if it weren't for Leanne. I know that. I mean, it's not as if Peter hasn't been given more than one second chance. In fact, who hasn't asked for a second chance? Well, I hope you don't expect me to come up with an answer right now. I will make Peter happy. I will take good care of him and I'll be a great wife to him. Look, I don't know what to do. Just give us a bit of time, eh? But the wedding's next week. I know. Just one more thing. If you do decide that Peter has to know about this, then let me tell him. Because if there's the faintest chance that I could persuade him to forgive me, then I'd, I'd just like to try. Don't let her bully you, Carl. No. Oh, sorry, you don't mind me calling you, Carl? No, oh, call me what you like. Well. Between you and me, Cole, she's a bit of a control freak, always likes to have her own way. I suppose it's been an only child. You seem a... a decent bloke. I am a decent bloke. You're not playing games with my little girl. No. Not a fool. No. I know Charlotte can be difficult. Not as if she's introduced us to many boyfriends. And Dorothy... Oh, she's long since given up any idea of weddings or grandkids. So if you're not committed to this, please, let her down gently. I'd hate to see her get hurt. You're right. Charlotte does like to call the shots. She's the boss. So, as long as she insists on keeping me around, I'll be here. I've no choice in the matter. Good lad. <laughs> How many of them were there? Uh, four or five. Oh, so you mean two? No, I don't. I mean four. What, they just set about you? Yeah? Well, there's the usual smoke, drink and all that sort of carry on, you know. And they just got tore into me. I never stood a chance, so I didn't. Would you get a good look at them? <laughs> don't you worry your head. I'll recognise those boys again. Are you going to tell the police? Yeah. It's a scrap and a boozer. It happens, you know. I'll just not get in there again, that's all. Anyway, listen, it was nice to see you and all that, but I've got to get off. I've got stuff to do. All right, so. Listen, I need a week for now. Take your time. So, now you look after yourself. You see, Jim, the, the trick is, is knowing which pubs you're not welcome in. Eh? Add the Rovers to your list. I don't eat all them grapes at once. I'll give you indigestion. Oh, it's been so lovely to meet you. I feel like I've known him for years. Are you sure you can't come for Christmas? Come on, woman, put him down. You, take care of my little girl. Will do. Don't let this one get away. I won't. Bye, then. Bye, Mum. Dad? then take care. Bye. Bye. How well did that go? I have never been more proud of you. I'll finish clearing up. Do you want a coffee? All right, come up. Uh, do you want a drink or? No, just 
just need a friend. Oh, wow, well, you've got one right here. So, what's happening? I think you might be okay. Yeah? Yeah. You were right. You can't love two men. It's Peter. Peter? Yeah. Ken and Deirdre know everything. And if I'd wanted, I could have stopped the wedding dead and gone off with Nick, but... Well, talking to him, it made me realise. It's Peter. Peter and Simon, they're my future. What? Listen, I can say this because I'm your friend, right? I don't believe you, darling. I think you're only choosing Peter because you feel guilty. Because you, you, you're worried about the damage you'll cause. I think you're still in love with him. No! No, I'm not. It's over. Carla, I'm going to marry Peter. <sighs> and the Coronation Street Golden Anniversary and Stars of the Street box sets are available now on DVD. Next, six will become five. I'm a Celebrity is coming up.